discretion is advised. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are heading out. I'm kind of sort of back to normal. I'm still pretty sore with my leg, but I'm trying to get out. We're going to go to a permission right now. I've got to pick up Terry and this particular property has a bunch of rats and so tonight we're going to try to help the farmer out um, i brought my brocock atomic i got it turned down to 12 foot pounds and terry is bringing his leashy classic and so i'm going to pick him up and then we'll head over to the farm i'll try to show you guys a little bit um, unfortunately, just kind of the way it is, I can't really film a whole lot, um, but we'll do the best that we can. Hey folks, so last weekend we went to one of our permissions for some early evening rat hunting, and uh, I had my that gun leashy set up for 23 foot pounds and realized when I got there that uh, inside where we were going for the rats was a little bit too much power and of course it was like a last minute thing and I didn't have my uh, optics arranged very well so I, I missed one really close and this morning I went to the range and dialed all that stuff back in turned down the power adjuster on the leashy zeroed everything properly and we're gonna go back over there right about now it's well probably about another another 45 minutes and the sun will be down and we're gonna go see if we can get some more ratonis This place is very limited um, as far as the space to move around. It's got a lot of old furniture, a lot of lumber, and just a lot of random pieces of equipment, a lot of shelving, a lot of places for these rats to hide and nest. Most of the activity is up on the rafters. You'll see them moving back and forth. Usually as soon as the sun goes down, you start seeing activity and it becomes more active as you get into the later parts of the evening. I got the Brocock Atomic XR and 22. I've got this turned down to 12 foot pounds. I've got the CV Life Eagle Feather with the NV100. And we're sitting behind me here on the couch. We got a nice comfortable spot and we're gonna see if we can get some of these rats down. Got a sight mark wraith sitting on top of my Edgun Leashy Classic shooting 14 foot pounds. <laughs> off to the right, right where we walked in. Now he's coming towards us. He's like right next to me now. Now he's running back. Got him. Got him. Got him. So as you can see, we're a little bit situated right now. Oh, 
Oh, I see. We do the best that we can to try to recover these rats. We don't like to leave them, but a lot of times it's just not possible to recover them. They'll fall behind something. And in areas like this where we've got a lot of piles of wood, a lot of random stuff, um, it can be really difficult to find them. Um, and a lot of times they'll get stuck up in the rafters and you're just not able to reach them. Uh, but we do the best that we can to collect um, the rats because um, we don't want to leave them there because they do smell and they can attract other animals. So we got at least nine of them tonight and we were able to recover two of them some still in there just because we can't find them but that was a little bit better than we expected tonight we had a lot of fun so it was really nice to get out with terry it was slow in the beginning but then it picked up we were seeing a lot more activity and there's a lot more rats in there we've just got to go back spend a little more time and I think we can clear it out um, but they were really pleased I was trying to be somewhat discreet with how I was filming stuff so I apologize for the lack of um, detail in the footage um, but sometimes that's the way it goes um, for me it was nice to get out and do something I've been really kind of stuck at home um, healing up my leg is feeling better and I think in the next week I'm gonna head out and we'll do an overnight trip um, out to one of the, the farms and so you guys can look forward to that. Um, the Atomic worked really well for me. I liked that setup with the NV100. Terry was having some issues with his sight mark. I don't think he had it focused right, but we'll check the footage, we'll see. As usual, you know, I really appreciate the support. And I will leave links in the description if you guys are interested in any of that gear. I'll leave that for you. But we will see you guys on the next adventure if you guys enjoy these videos give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you like we put out new videos every week